What's going on guys? Devlazer here and here's my WrestleMania 25 predictions. Since this card is so stacked, I gotta get right into it. So let's just begin. First match, Chris Jericho versus the WWE Legends, which is Jimmy Snuka, Hot Rod, and Ricky Steamboat. Now Chris Jericho would always come out and talk trash about the Legends. And the Legends, you know, came out one by one. So first it would be Snuka, then Steamboat, then Hot Rod. And he just beat them up, just to humiliate them in front of all the fans, or hypocrites, as Chris Jericho would like to call them. And um, at the end, Chris Jericho finally just took it to a whole other level when he beat down Ric Flair, and he just humiliated him. Um, a top-notch superstar like Ric Flair, he just d decimated him. And um, that, that was uh, kind of the turning point. And now, Ric Flair is in the corner of the three guys who Chris Jericho assaulted. And Mickey Rourke may play a part on the Legends team. Plus, Austin might make a return in this match. He might just, you know, help out the Legends because, you know, they're, you know, not that young anymore. So, and Austin's still kicking it. So, yeah, so Chris Jericho's going to have to be facing six guys, potentially, maybe. It might. If not, five guys. So, yeah, I don't think Chris Jericho's going to win... I'm pulling for the legends on this one. Next match, the 25 woman Diva Battle Royal. Honestly, in the minds of hardcore fans, this match is not going to be spectacular in terms of wrestling. But in terms of casual, well, actually, hardcore fans are probably going to like to see who they chose as the old Divas that are going to come back because they still need to fill up the rest of the spaces. So hopefully Lita will come back or Trish Stratus will come back just for this one night. I mean, come on. And, um... Yeah, but in the minds of casual and moderate fans, they probably are going to love this match because it's going to be 25 women rubbing up against each other and just sloppily fighting. Granted, some divas know how to fight. The rest of them, they just, you know, hug each other, rub against each other, and just do that weird-ass ugly shit that you see in Jerry Springer. It's just wrong and no... But, <clears throat> yeah, I'm gonna, the, in all seriousness right now, the person that I want to win is Beth Phoenix or Melina. One of those two, that's who I'm pulling for. Next match, Money in the Bank, Kofi Kingston, Kane, Mark Henry, Christian, Finley, MVP, CM Punk, and Sheldon Benjamin. I'm just going to talk quickly about this. The one promo that they did on ECW, where, I think it was last week, and um, they were all in the ring on MVP's lounge or whatever the hell he has, couch shack or whatever. Um, they were all talking and about the briefcase. They're like, oh, I'm going to climb the briefcase. I'm going to retrieve it. And then they kept interrupting each other. And it was just so, you know, well done and cool. And it was just a great way to promote that this kind of match. And at the end, Kane just did his, you know, usual raise his arms and throw him to hell. And fire comes up and all that shit and the Inferno Blaze, blah, blah, blah. This match is going to be worth it, even if the other matches are suckage. So let's see. My pick would be Christian on this one. Yes, Christian, I stand firmly behind Christian, and yeah. Four, Shawn Michaels versus The Undertaker. This match is going to be epic. Epic on 55,000 levels. I don't want to go through them all, but 55,000 levels, all right? thing the reason why I say this is because last year Shawn Michaels went all out just to retire somebody now this year his goal is to end a streak that has been going on for 16 years okay so he's going from one year retiring somebody who was a 16 time world champion to ending somebody with a 16 and 0 streak at Wrestlemania so a little bit of, you know, I guess, knowledge from me to you. And, um, so yeah, Shawn Michaels is not going to let this one slip. And just, I like the whole fact how Shawn's not scared of The Undertaker. It's just blowing uh, Undertaker's mind. And I feel that Undertaker is going to get his last desserts and beat Shawn Michaels and put him in the grave where he belongs. Just joking, I like Shawn Michaels. Alright, five. Carlito and Primo versus Morrison and Miz, the tag team titles to unify. I haven't really seen too much, and I don't want to talk too much about this because it's not as important as the other matches, but it will be enjoyable. Uh, I'm going to have to go with Carlito and Primo on this one. 
and they're going to unify the titles and be happy. Next match, JBL versus Rey Mysterio for the IC title. I hate saying Intercontinental, it's just so much words. Um, to be honest with you guys, I haven't really seen too much of this um, match to really judge it. But if I were to choose somebody, it'd have to be Rey Mysterio to win the IC title. And I heard that JBL is going to retire or something or other. I don't know. Just Rey Mysterio to win. Alright, next match. Matt versus Jeff Hardy. This is going to be the best match because it is Extreme Rules. And it has Matt and Jeff Hardy. And it is just... Oh my god, it is phenomenal because I love the Hardy Boys so much. And whenever they feud, it just makes me just want to just take my eyes and glue them to the TV. Physically glue them to my TV and watch. I will judge this match higher than everything else just because they're the Hardy Boys. Okay, that I'm just joking. But in all seriousness, this match will be good. And, um, SpinnerNet said something like, um, Matt Hardy is not convincing. I mean, it, his psychopath thing, he kind of overacted it a little bit. But, I mean, other than that, he did play it pretty good. I, I won't, I won't go so far to say that he's unconvincing. He's still a little nuts in the head. But he's very good. My pick is Jeff Hardy, Jeff Hardy, Jeff Hardy, and, oh, Jeff Hardy. Alright, next match. Randy Orton versus Triple H for the WWE title. I'm going to have to say that this is going to be the better of the two World Heavyweight title matches for the simple fact that this is a match where you can honestly say who's the champion because uh, they, they're, the, the focus is not on the championship belt right now. It's on personal life because Orton just basically fucking, he, he killed Stephanie McMahon right in front of Triple H's face and kissed her, which, like, freaking set a fire in Triple H, which is now, you know, accumulating to this heavy-ass match at WrestleMania, which I'm going to enjoy thoroughly. And I also like the fact that they date this all the way back to Evolution, because, you know, in a way, it can relate back to Evolution when Triple H screwed Randy Orton over, which is phenomenally great. I love how WWE does this stuff, but whatever. My pick is Triple H to win. End of story. Last but not least, we have the triple threat match with John Cena versus Big Show versus Edge. This match is completely boring. Gonna have to just gonna have to throw it out there. Big Show and Edge are just you know, ditzing around with Vicky Guerrero while John Cena is just sneaking his way into this match and John Cena is just, he doesn't care about anything but the title and uh, I don't even know what to say, this match is just no bad. Uh, my pick is John Cena, that's all. So yeah, there's my WrestleMania 25, order it if you can, go to somebody's house, Mooch off the internet, watch it, watch it, watch it. If you have to watch it the week after, do it. But just watch it, man. This pay-per-view is going to be worth it. That's my predictions. Peace out, guys. See you after WrestleMania. Nah.